whatever that is too, but. Wherever you might be in the world, the combination of beef and onions is a match made in heaven. You have liver with beef, you got braised beef with sauteed onions, you got skillet beef with onions, and there are two particular dishes that I am absolutely in love with that use these two ingredients at their core, and that's gyudon and Filipino beefsteak. What I love about these two dishes is that they're so simple and easy to put together, yet they build so much flavor. And both of them have to be served with a steaming bowl of white rice. Honestly, when I'm making both these dishes, I think a nice tender, like large grain, sticky Japanese rice is absolutely perfect. Both of them can also be eaten with eggs, like fried eggs or soft boiled eggs. It really comes down to you. For today's recipes, we'll be using two different cuts of beef. So for the beef stick, I am using a strip loin or sirloin. You can make this with non-premium cuts of beef. You'll just end up having to um, cook it longer to get it nice and tender. The more premium the cut, the more tender the cut, the shorter your cook time. So just keep that in mind. For the Japanese gyudon, since we're cutting it so thinly, we're basically shaving it as thin as we can go. I don't think you necessarily need to use like really high grade or premium cuts to get it tender. But if you do want kind of like that fatty flavor or that rich flavor, I do suggest that you use a ribeye for this. Either case, I'm sure you'll end up with something that will taste absolutely beautiful. Let's start with the gyudon. Grab your beef, I'm using a ribeye. Make sure it's over an inch in thickness and then place that either in a container or in some saran wrap. This goes into the freezer for 30 minutes to an hour, just to get it hard enough to slice easily. Same process as if you were gonna make carpaccio by hand. Take it out and slice it as thin as you can without breaking the pieces. This looks about right. Next for our onions, we're gonna be slicing a bunch for our beef steak. But for the gyudon, we just need some very thinly sliced brown or white onions. You can even use like some smaller uh, brown onions for this. In a pan, place in your onions, dashi. You can use some pre-made dashi here since it's not a very delicate dish that would require homemade dashi. Some sake, soy sauce, and sugar. Mix all this and bring it to a simmer. After five minutes, your onions should be nice and soft. At this point, you can add your beef. Yes, there's no frying here, no oil involved. It's literally just simmering beef. So we're gonna let this simmer for about five minutes. The broth here is gonna become bomb. So just keep tasting it. It'll be really delicate, but so addicting. Right before serving, grate in some ginger. I really do recommend you grate this very, very thinly. I'm using uh, like a zester here. Don't use kind of like a thick grater, a cheese grater. It'll be really weird and you don't want pieces of ginger in your teeth. Adjust this with some salt and sugar if needed. I like to have this with a not so soft boiled egg, but something with a thicker yet still slightly runny yolk. So just boil some water, dunk in your cold eggs for about seven minutes. This goes straight into an ice bath after that for about two minutes before peeling. In a large bowl, set your Japanese rice, a cup and a half should do. Cover with beef and lots of sauce. Slice up some scallions, add that on top, your egg, and some togarashi. Now, most people would stop here, but I like to very untraditionally add in some furikake. I'm convinced that furikake can probably bring world peace. love watching you eat. What do you mean? Because you eat with such joy. And this is the most I've really had a lot of your cooking because I'm always working, right? So now I'm just at home. Oh, you appreciate me more. Mm. Mm. 
For our beef steak, you can use any cut of meat from skirt to flank to strip loin to sirloin to chuck. It really comes down to what you can find and how long you want to cook it for. Today I'm going to use some strip loin, so this is going to be a very quick cook. Slice it against the grain, not as thin as the gyudon, but still quite thin. We're gonna first do this quick process called velveting. Um, it's something Chinese restaurants use quite a lot. This is done for ingredients to retain their bounce and their smoothness. So just mix one teaspoon of baking soda with your meat. Do not worry, your beef will not taste like baking soda. After 20 minutes, make sure to wash the beef under some cold water and then strain that properly. Now in a bowl, we're gonna to mix together a fourth cup of light soy sauce. This is really just to bring us some saltiness. A fourth cup of dark soy sauce, which is usually more fermented, brings us a nice caramel color and nice deep flavors. And a third cup of lemon and lime juice. If you do have access to calamansis, please use that instead. It does make a huge difference. Place in a Tupperware and leave that in the fridge for at least one hour. Honestly, I like to go full 12 hours with this so that our beef actually changes changes color. You may be wondering why I'm not adding any sugar or garlic to the marinade. It's because I'm going to be cooking the beef alone first, so I don't want burned pieces of garlic or caramelized pieces of beef. For our onions, this dish for me is all about texture and acidity. So we're going to cut up some thick brown onions, then slice up some red onions, thin or thick. Just vary the sizes, and you can even add in some white onions if you want. Flavor-wise, the difference is not really noticeable. It's just to have some variety and some different colors in there, so it really pops when you serve this. I like to add a lot of onions when I'm making this, so don't freak out. Mince a couple cloves of garlic. When you're ready, get a nice wide pan out, get it hot with some peanut oil, and start frying your beef in batches, little by little making sure not to overcrowd the pan. We don't want to boil the beef, we want to fry it. It'll release lots of liquid, so you can empty out the pan from time to time. This for me is really important, so I get some nice browning and texture on the beef. This should take about two minutes per side. Now empty out the pan and add in some oil and place in one third of the onions you have. Add in your garlic and sweat it all out for about five minutes. It should develop some cool color. Add your beef back in and leftover marinade. A little bit of water goes in and all this just cooks down and simmers and gently bubbles away, like they say, for about five to 10 minutes until the sauce thickens up a little. Now this is not gonna be like a thick sauce. We don't want a thick sauce. The sauce of a beef steak is still kind of watery, but you need to get it a little thicker. About three minutes before serving, add in your other onions little by little. So the idea here is to have different textures of onions and different cooks of onions. So you want something soft and sweet, which were the first onions that we put into the batch, two onions that are almost raw and tangy. Right before serving, I like to toss in some very thinly sliced red onions. So all in all, you'll end up with maybe four batches of onions that are all cooked at different temperatures, uh, which for me makes a, a really cool difference in the dish. Place this all on a plate, and if you want even more oniony goodness, you can top it off with scallions, chives, and some crunchy shallots. After eating this, you'll want to brush your teeth at least six times. Okay, 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 okay. I have both our Filipino beef steak and gyudon side by side here. They both look absolutely amazing. I'm not lying, I've tried the gyudon multiple times already, and it's you heard Anne a while ago. It's absolutely delicious. Um, so let's try the beef steak first. So this is slightly different, obviously. Like I add some herbs and stuff in there, just to kind of, you know, make it my own way. Um, again, like I said, this is my own personal recipe. Let's try it with a little bit of rice here. Mmm, it's so tender. So much flavor going on. It's like super bold versus the beef steak. Oh, sorry, versus the gyudon. It's almost not a fair fight. You can't compare the Filipino beef steak and the gyudon, even though like, even though at its basis, two core ingredients are very similar, the beef and the onions, the gyudon is much more subtle in terms of its savoriness, has more umami, I feel, because of the dashi that's in there, brings in a lot of different interesting flavors, and it's definitely primarily slightly sweeter. Whereas the beef steak 
It's bold, it's brash, it's acidic because of the raw onions and because of the lemon and the lime mix that's in there. It's salty because of the different soy sauces that we put in there. So very different characteristics, very similar base ingredients. Which is better? It's not a fair fight. It's like, it's like comparing two things in two different categories, even though they should be in the exact same category. So the solution to this problem is just try making both up and then see if you... So the solution to all of this is just... <laughs> So the solution to all of this is just try both out at home and just figure out which you like to eat more. That's it, peace out.